What's going on my beautiful people? Coach Will here. I hope all is well. And in this video, what I'm going to actually be doing is a supplement product review of one of Steel's primary supplements. So, to inform you guys, the other day I actually ordered a supplement um, sample pack from Steel's, right? And in that pack, I actually ended up getting a bunch of their, you know, vegan protein flavors because I'm somebody who, you know, who likes vegan protein. And I'm gonna actually be doing several videos on each of the flavors in the future. However, they also decided to send me some other stuff here. They sended me their fat burner. Um, not a really fan of fat burners, but you know, there's that. They also sent me their like rehydration formula thing. So basically like an intro workout to help you push through the workouts in case you're somebody who feels dehydrated. Maybe you need a little bit more kick throughout the duration of your workouts. So there's that. But the one I'm really interested in is this right here. And this is what the video is gonna be consisting of today. I'm gonna do a full product review on their charged uh, steel pre-workout, right? If you, in case you didn't know, this is one of their, um, one of, I believe three of their primary pre-workouts they sell. This is kind of like the mid-tier. Uh, this is definitely not an entry-level pre-workout. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with how pre-workouts work, typically they have different dosages of caffeine and other stimulants just to give you that little kick in the butt that you need to get your workout done. I'm personally not a fan of them, mainly because of the fact that I just, I have a high tolerance to everything that I take or any sort of like stimulant that I take. So I just kind of avoid them all in general. And I plus, plus I have natural energy. So there's that, but I figured it would be a useful video to, for me to do for you guys in case any of you are out there in the market for a pre-workout. So with that being said, if you are new here, be sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do the whole thing. And even if you aren't new here and you've been here for a while, leave a like, comment down below on what you would like to see me go over next. And with that being said, we're gonna get right into the facts, man. So when it comes to what we have here, I'll put like a little like snippet of the label here of what this supplement has. So. Uh, the label is very interesting, mainly because of the fact that it tells you the exact quantities of only three of the main ingredients, which is, um, L well, not three of the main ingredients. It only tells you the, the exact um, numbers of three of the ingredients involved in it. Uh, it has four grams of L-citrulline, and for those of unaware, L-citrulline basically helps with your, it helps with your pumps, it helps with muscular endurance, things like that. Uh, we also have beta alanine. Beta alanine in pre-workouts is basically the thing that gives you that little tingle sensation in your skin throughout, like as the pre-workout is kicking in. And also there's some studies out there that show that beta alanine also helps out with performance output. So there's that. And we also have beatine and hydrase, which basically helps out with your pumps, stuff like that. Just something else to enha help enhance that formula. And so in terms of the exact dosages, we have four grams of L-citrulline, 3.2 grams, which is the clinical dose for beta alanine. And we got 2.5 um, grams of beatine anhydrase. So there's that. And then here, this is where it gets a little weird um, with their label because it's just basically a proprietary blend. What I mean by proprietary blend, it's essentially a blend of like just a bunch of ingredients uh, put together that are supposed to give you a desired outcome. But the thing is, they don't tell you exactly the numbers of each ingredient that's in here. A lot of pre-workouts on the market do. Other pre-workouts on the market don't do that. May, you know, they don't want people copying their formula, whatever it may be, go figure. But essentially we have uh, 1.68 grams of like all this other stuff. We have N8 cell, L-tyrosine, caffeine anhydrase, obviously caffeine, you need that in your pre-workout. Dimethanol, a long ass word. <laughs> and like, yeah, a whole bunch of other stuff that I can't read, but there's some key ingredients that I know here. Obviously, L-theanine is a calming agent. You got tyramine, you also have hygienamine. You have, what else do I know here? alpha yohembine which I know is also another form of like nootropic stimulant. So. A lot of a lot of interesting stuff in here that I that I'm familiar with and a whole bunch of other stuff that I just have no clue what it is. But you know, at the end of the day, when it comes to labels, labels are just labels. Ultimately, what you're looking for out of a pre-workout is how it makes you feel. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna 
meet you guys at the gym. I'm gonna mix it up, uh, tell you what I think about the flavor. Although when it comes to pre-workout, most of us aren't really in it for the flavor. We're just in it to just chug it and see how it makes us feel. So that being said, I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, my beautiful people. So before I actually go to the gym, I figured that I do a little taste test just so y'all have that as a reference. So what I have here is I mixed up, it recommended anywhere between eight to 10 ounces of water. So I have 10 ounces of water here. Uh, this is strawberry watermelon flavor. So I'm gonna do a little taste test for you. I just take a quick sip so I could get the full effects of the pre-workout when I drink it, the whole, when I drink the whole thing at the gym. So I'm gonna pop the lid open right now. Just give me one second. All right, I'm gonna do a little little sip. Smell, it smells nice. Let's see. Let's see what's up. Okay, it's not too bad. Take one more sip. Okay, not too bad. Obviously, pre workouts when you take them, they're not meant to like taste good. This one's not too bad though. Um, if I had to give it a, a, a real rating on top, uh, as far as flavor goes, I'd say on a scale of one to ten, about a six and a half, maybe seven. Seven would be pushing it, but yeah, about a six and a half. Not too bad. Uh, but aside from that, I'll see you at the gym. Maybe I'll show you some workouts or not. And if I don't see you at the gym, yeah, I'll definitely see you guys with the aftermath of the effects. people so it's been a few hours since I completed my workout I decided to give myself a little bit of time to process how I felt with the pre-workout in my system and now I've had uh, you know after thinking about it thoroughly I now have a good consensus of how I'm gonna break this down for you guys just so you could decide whether or not uh, you want to actually invest in getting this pre-workout for yourself so I'm gonna split up the rating into three different categories the first category will be energy and feel the second category will be in terms of the long lasting effects of the pre-workout. And the third will be as far as the pumps, right? Because certain compounds within the pre-workout helps with vascularity. It helps with helping your muscles get that blood flow a lot more efficiently, thus giving your body a little bit more of a pump when you do your repetitions throughout the duration of your workout. So we're gonna start off with the overall uh, performance feel of it and energy. So when it came to the overall energy, I'd say the, the beta alanine, the tingling, it kicked in about 20 to 25 minutes into my workout. So, which is good. That's pretty much average when it comes to the clinical dose 
of beta adenine in a specific pre-workout. So that's always a, a plus. Unless you're somebody who doesn't like that tingling sensation, in my opinion, I feel like it's almost a placebo in your head that is like, oh yeah, I'm ready, let's let's go, let's just kill it, All right? That being said, being that I have a high tolerance to pre-workouts in general or any sort of stimulant, I, you know, for me, it wasn't an overwhelming feeling because I've had that amount of beta alanine in my system in the past. It wasn't like, like, oh my God, I feel like, like I'm all itchy and stuff, right? For me, it was mellow. For somebody who's not familiar with that feeling, it might kick in pretty harsh. And if you don't like the feeling, then, you know, you already know, just don't have beta alanine in your own pre-workouts. However, for me and for those people who are looking for a little bit more of a kick in the butt, this is definitely a good one in that sense. Now, when it came to the overall um, energy, I felt like my energy peaked about 40 minutes into my workout. That's where I really felt like that caffeine kicking in along with the other um, compounds in it. I started feeling a little bit of the cold sweats. Uh, the cold sweats is actually, uh, um, it's a side effect of the uh, alpha yohembine in a pre-workout. So it, that was, um, you know, it was interesting to have that I had that feeling in combination with having that high energy. And as far as just the, what the overall blend made me feel, uh, if anything, I didn't really feel like super like, oh my God, like I'm ramped up. I felt more focused if, if anything. You know, I was kind of really just zoned in into the workout. Uh, at the beginning of the workout, I was like, you know, pacing back and forth. That's usually what happens with pre-workouts. But then it kind of like just like mellowed down. And I was, you know, due to the L-theanine that's in it, which the L-theanine is a calming agent to help with the, the amount of caffeine that's in the pre-workout. So as far as just overall energy and feel, I'm good to give it for myself. I'll give it a solid seven out of 10, right? This is definitely not a pre-workout for beginners. Key, let's keep that in mind. Definitely not for beginners. I'd say if you're somebody who's taken pre-workouts regularly in the past, this would definitely be a good pick-me-up or a good like daily pre-workout or a good pre-workout to use on specific days that you feel like you'll need it, all right? So, now, as far as the duration of the effects of how long it actually lasted me throughout the workout, I'd say it lasted me about a good 90 minutes. After the 90 minute mark, I, I kind of started feeling the, that decline. It wasn't a harsh decline. It wasn't a crash, thankfully, which is always a plus, but it was just a, a slow decline. So it was a nice steady decline. So as far as duration, I'll give it about a 7, 7.25 as well. And then as far as the overall pumps, Honestly, my pumps were pretty much average at best. So there have been certain pre-workouts in the past that I've taken that have given me a nice pump, but this one, it was pretty much an average pump. I had a good like total body pump since I did legs and back today. So as far as pumps go, I would say a six, six and a half out of 10. So whatever that average is up to will be the overall score. But if I had to give it just the overall score off the top of my head, I'd say like a 6.75 out of 10. Definitely a good pre-workout. It's nothing too crazy to write off about. But at the same time, if you're somebody who's new to pre-workouts, uh, definitely be cautious with this one. I'd say start off with like half a scoop. And you know, if you're somebody who's familiar with how pre-workouts feel, definitely a good pick me up and something you could use regularly um, in your day-to-day -day workouts. And yeah, it's um, overall pretty solid pre-workout. Definitely a, a good, um, good on steel supplements with this one. So obviously this isn't meant to be like the over the top sensation pre-workout. So that one would be the amp if I'm not mistaken. So, but for a, a mid-tier pre-workout with you know a good amount of stuff in it, it's pretty solid. So 6.75 out of 10 in my book. With that being said, if you liked the video, if you found it informative, leave a like down below. Comment down below on what you'd like to see me go over next. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and do the whole thing. And with that being said, my beautiful people, and will we trust? Until next time.